Vitamins are the key to health and perhaps the cure for the common cold. Now, how many of you have ever heard of vitamin megadosis? Ooh, ooh, I have. Uh, but I've also heard of fairies and the Loch Ness Monster, and those won't cure your cold either. <laughs> what? Vitamin supplements don't cure colds, they don't prolong your life, and in some cases, they may actually be harmful. <laughs> so, what are vitamins? Uh, huge pills that smell like old olives? Wrong, anyone else? Oh, here we go. Ah, uh, candy that's shaped like cartoon characters. Wrong again, you're both thinking of vitamin supplements. What are the vitamins themselves? Um, little bits of goop that your body needs. I love you, Todd. Exactly. They're a collection of various micronutrients that are essential for your body to function normally. Yes, so vitamins make us healthy. Except that, by definition, vitamins are nutrients we only need a tiny little bit of. And normally, we get plenty of them from the food we eat. Arr, but what if I contract scurvy? You won't. Scurvy is caused by an extreme lack of vitamin C. Pirates used to get it because they ate nothing but hardtack biscuits for months. But if you eat normal food in normal quantities, you'll be fine. Like, just eat a lemon, ever. Mmm, I'm so better already indeed. <laughs> but getting more vitamins is even better. No, it isn't. <laughs> vitamins are sort of like cats. If you have no cats, you'll be lonely. If you have a cat or two, you'll feel better. But that's enough cats. No one needs to load up on cats. Mm -hmm. And just like with cats, you don't want to overdo it. Studies show that taking too much of some vitamins, like A, D, or E, can actually make you sick. Well, even if that's true, mega doses of vitamin C will cure. Nothing. Vitamin C does not treat or cure the common cold, and products that claim it does are nonsense. Remember Airborne? Sure, the cold medicine created by a school teacher. It keeps you from getting colds from touching the magazines on airplanes. That is not true. Who gave you a medical license? Oprah. Airborne is a cocktail of plain old vitamins that was marketed as a cure for the common cold. But in 2006, they were sued for false advertising and ended up paying out $23 million. Airborne doesn't cure anything. It's basically just bubbles. But when I take vitamin C, it makes me feel better. Aww. Yes, the placebo effect is very powerful, but that's all it is. In reality, at least 15 different studies have concluded that vitamin C does not treat the common cold. <laughs> hey, it's not my fault everyone believes vitamins are magic. It's Linus Pauling's fault. Great, can I go back to doing my show now? No, no, no do not pan away, come on! Linus Pauling was a genius chemist and the only person in history to be awarded two solo Nobel Prizes. He was one of America's true scientific celebrities. Linus, I love your chemistry. Your research is amazing. But in the early 70s, Pauling became obsessed with the idea of living forever and basically went vitamin crazy. Great Niels Bohr's ghost. I've got it. He began claiming that massive doses of vitamin C could prevent the common cold, prolong your life, and even cure cancer. And because he was a celebrity scientist, the media trusted him. So these Vitapills will cure my sniffles? That's right. And get this, you'll also never get sick or die. Sounds pretty far out. Oh, yeah. But if the smartest cat in America is saying it, it must be true. <laughs> <laughs> Up next is Charo and puppet superstar Madam. No, 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 you don't. We are going back to my show. Where is it? This way. But repeated studies have proven that Pauling was totally wrong. There is no medical basis for his claims. And in 1994, he actually died of cancer, the very disease he claimed vitamins would cure. You're telling me that vitamin supplements are a lie, and we only believe in them because one man went crazy. Yeah, Pauling was the Michael Jackson of nutrition. He totally changed the game. We had no idea how crazy he was. And 40 years later, we're still humming the tunes. Wow, that's bad. It's bad, you know it. Hey, I'm Adam from College Humor. If you like that clip, make sure to check out my new show, Adam Ruins Everything, Tuesdays at 10 p.m. on True TV. It's gonna ruin your Tuesday, but trust me, the rest of your week will be fine.